Hello, Wendy. Well, top of the day to you. Wendy Brown Berry. Uh, I've been hearing stories. You're going to be doing some something up at the library or the history center, right? That's correct. And uh, it has something to do with cowboys. Absolutely. You want to tell me a little bit about this? Sure. Um, we're going to have a cowboy day. It's going to be our cowboy March. day. Yeah, cowboy day. We're going to be celebrating our local cowboys and ranchers and um, of Mariposa County. And I'm so excited about it because it's. I've been away from cowboy poetry for a while, but I was contacted by Janet Chase Williams before the holidays, and she is now the vice president of the uh, History Museum. And they need money for their docent program. And so this is a fundraiser to keep that docent program alive for the, for the students that work there. So she wanted me to come and be part of Cowboy Day. She was always great about promoting me at the library for Cowboy Poetry Week, where I gave workshops, uh, writing workshops, and um, involving the, the children. At that time, I had a dog named Flash that I took, and she remembered that, and I'm just very excited and thrilled that she has invited me back. It's been quite a few years uh, since I've uh, been doing Cowboy Poetry, but um, I'm ready to go again, and I've got two poets joining me, uh, Bob Barrett, uh, who is a longtime uh, resident of Mariposa. He, yes. Right. Yes, he lives in Hornitos. He used to be a packer in Yosemite. One of the first packers. And so he will be joining us and we'll be talking a little bit and about the, the Yosemite Wranglers. I have a poem that I've written for them. And um, so he'll be joining us. We'll be talking a little bit about Yosemite. And then my other poet is Luann Mello, and she has joined me um, at the library to give um, her own written original cowboy poetry. And I'm excited about that. She and her husband, uh, Dave, have been major supporters and have followed us as far as Coulterville to gatherings there that the Arts Council sponsored years ago. And. Uh, I'm just excited to get back at it again. So tell me about cowboy poetry. Uh, what is cowboy poetry? Okay, well, it goes way back. Um, it was actually born on the cattle drives of the 1800s. And uh, sitting around their campfires, cowboys, um, they created a, a tradition of storytelling, poetry, and song that survived on ranches from Texas to Montana. In recent years, it's been accepted to, into the mainstream of literary genre. And um, it really, I see it as the voice of the real working West. And I am just thrilled to bring it back and keep these old traditions alive. All right. And you have a, a little did he want to read for me? Yeah, I would like to read this. Um, and tell me about it. Madison Siemens wrote it, and he, he and I performed for a decade together doing cowboy poetry. I call him my poetry pard. He has since um, moved to New Mexico. But I asked him to write his version of what is cowboy poetry, and I'd like to share that with you. Cowboy poetry, how does one describe it? It's not as esoteric as it may seem, though it can contain lofty rhetoric to rival Byron or Keats, or make them spin in their graves. Cowboy poetry is a unique genre of literature composed by people whose chosen lifestyle involves horses and cattle, and the, and the assorted gear, tools, first aid kits this often requires. It's about life's triumphs and tragedies, seen from the back of a horse 
or under the hood of a nearly worn out pickup trying to coax just 10 more miles out of her. Cowboy poetry does not just describe stories that rhyme. It is more like an a cappella symphony of words like Shakespeare, but easier to understand. These are true stories about horses and cattle and the people that love them. As wild as it may seem, most of the tales are true, because when you think of it, you couldn't make this stuff up. The only real way to understand cowboy poetry is to experience it. So I would like you to come to the History Center and Museum on March 16th at 1 p.m. to experience cowboy poetry firsthand. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I'll see you then. Okay. Bye -bye. Happy trails. Happy be.